Hey guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video and today I have a couple of attacks and defenses to show you and something pretty special at the end. So here we go with our first attack. Um, I'm attacking this guy AJ from German's Best. A lot of you guys were asking me why I'm in Norsk or um, I guess it would be chat a uh, different language and the reason I'm in a different language guys is because the chat is a lot better. Um, in US chat people don't very really talk very much in global and it's fun to talk in um, global and Norse because there's a lot of high level players. Um, I also feel like that's something I'd like, I'd like to see in an update is chat, not like chat rooms, but like places instead of just recruiting on chat where you can just hang out with people. So like separate chat rooms where people can like just talk about certain stuff. So kind of like chat groups I think would be pretty sick. Um, but yeah, anyway, on this attack, we're going in ham. We're at 32%. His heroes are there. We got to take out that multi-target in front of tower. Queen's about to hit the town hall. Um, I'm going to want to end this raid as soon as I hit 50% so I don't have to spend a lot of gems on my heroes to get them up. And um, if you guys didn't already see, I did get my queen up to level 35. Some of you guys don't watch my stream, so you missed that. Um, that cost us about 19,000 gems. It was pretty expensive, but we got her up there. Um, okay, we got the 50% there. Now, awesome. Now, I'm going to show you guys a defense really quick. Um, this is my previous base here. This base is awesome. I do have a new base now. Um, sends in the hog rider to lure my clan castle and I don't know why he decides not to kill them um, He just goes ahead and attacks from the top, which is not smart at all um, I have all my bombs up there especially against go wee wee this base is really really strong if you attack from the top It's the one place you don't want to attack from um, So the witches are going in here comes the wizards my minions did work here comes my balloons watch that bomb that bomb just takes out a bunch of the troops right there it's pretty awesome and yeah, we're looking good. Here goes the balloons. The balloons are saving us right now. And yeah, wizards are taking the top right. And they're not doing a very good job. He, he put down his troops a little too slow. Like, that's why I feel like he lost this attack. Um, had he put down his troops uh, faster, the uh, defenses would have did less damage over time. But what can you do? So those wall breakers aren't going to make it through. Um, a bomb's going to hit the mana spring trap. I'm pretty impressed that he got through those level 11 walls. And his heroes are just going to start running to the side. And the single target in front of tower is just going to wreck. Okay, he puts the free spell down there. Good job by him. Um, still, he's only at 24%. And the queen is starting to go down to the left. That's one of the designs of this base. The queen likes to run in a zigzag pattern. So she's going to start running in that pattern going down. Instead of towards the town hall in a straight line. And we're going to finish it here at 30% and win that defense and gain 23 trophies that's awesome to see up this high in cha champions okay guys if you guys don't recognize this player he's the number one player in the world and he attacked my base all right let's talk about what he's doing now this base is weak against um being balloonians so he puts down one balloon and he's able to take out those two archer towers puts down a couple of minions he's going to do a lot of things here that are really high level um he tries to do the one loon over here in order to take out the archer tower and he is unable to so he's gonna have to put down two loons to take that out all right here he goes nice um, a lot of high level players like really high who are only gaining one trophy will use balloonian because it's really really cheap and effective and sometimes you don't even have to use your heroes so it does save you a lot of gems um, however you're not normally guaranteed a two star you're only normally guaranteed a one star you can two star it's a lot harder though at this high level all right, so he's just putting down some minions to pick off my buildings on the outside, and he's going to drop down all his balloons up here at the top, and his balloons are going to come in, and he's trying to take out all the defenses he can. He also had a dragon inside his clan castle, which is really good. That's really good for him getting the two-star. However, we get lucky, and our, one of our air traps does hit the dragon, so he's not going to be able to get the two-star. I did have a dragon in my clan castle. It came out a little bit late. Um, I wish it came out a little bit sooner. Puts the rage spells down. Had that dragon um got into my town hall he would have been able to take that out and get the two star but he is just going to put his heroes down here and get the two star um he did stop at 40 percent um his heroes are just going to clean up for the 50 percent but that that's crazy that the number one player in the world attacked me and uh you guys can learn some strategy from him and see what he's doing like i said it's really cheap and efficient to balloonian but um it's really difficult to get two stars up at this high um but yeah guys i thought that was pretty exciting i wanted to show you that um, I've been kind of stopping at 3,800 trophies. I'm just chilling for now. We are in a war, so look forward to clips from a war from uh, YouTube All Stars tomorrow. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below. Let's see if we can get 700 likes. And you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.